you are enjoying my video on how to make Nigerian meat pie in a sandwich toaster, you will also enjoy how to bake a cake in a sandwich toaster. No oven required. Look at that. This sandwich toaster cake is perfect for lunch boxes, for breakfast, and as a snack when you want to quickly feed your sweet tooth. Here are the ingredients you will need. I'll give you the exact quantities of ingredients for the perfect sandwich toaster cake as we go along. Mix the egg and the sugar in a bowl like so. You can also use a manual whisk or a blender for this. Whisk, whisk, whisk till the mixture is pale and smooth like this. That took me about one and a half minutes whisking on medium speed. Add the salted butter. I melted that for 40 seconds in the microwave oven. Add the warm milk. Ideally, you should also add the vanilla flavor at this time, but you know, I forgot. So I'm adding mine now. It doesn't make a difference, but that extra whisking was unnecessary. Mix everything till well combined. Add the baking powder to the all-purpose flour. Mix and sift into the bowl where you have all the other ingredients. Mix till everything is well combined. I did that for about one minute, stopping at intervals to scrape down the cake mix on the sides of the bowl. I am just giving you an idea of times here. I want you to get this right on first try. If you got your quantities of ingredients right, you will get a cake mix that has the consistency of, I would say, condensed milk, a little bit thicker, but yeah, it should flow from the spoon. Then over to our sandwich toaster, I have some butter stuck on the wrap, so I use that to grease the plates. Scoop some cake mix into the partitions of the sandwich toaster, making sure not to overfill it. At most, I scooped two tablespoons. That spoon that grown-ups used to eat, yeah. I scooped two tablespoons of cake batter into one partition. It's very important that you don't overfill it. If it looks like this, it's already overfilled and you'll get a hot mess like this. Cake rises during baking, so if overfilled, it will overflow as it bakes. After adding the two spoons of butter each, use something to spread it out to cover the whole partition. Cover the sandwich toaster, power on and start baking. Set your timer to 8 minutes and add timeout on the dot. ta -da! It's perfectly baked. Look at that. Now is a good time to click the like button. Please click the like button though because I spent a long time in my lab to come up with this perfect recipe and timing. Have you? Have you? After making 12 triangular sandwich toaster cakes, I still had some cake batter left so I decided to be adventurous and try it with a waffle maker to see what it will look like. This time I'm using margarine to grease the plates. Brush it all over. and scoop some butter in there. Again, do not overfill it. Cover, pour on and bake for exactly 8 minutes once again. Look at that. Sebanum, well done in the comments for this two-in-one recipe. Sandwich toaster cake and waffle maker cake. See what the inside of the cake looks like. The cake is spongy and bouncy. Once cool, keep in a plastic bag so it does not dry out. Can you imagine this? Within 15 minutes, we have a cake. Try it for your lunchbox, breakfast, or as a snack and send me a feedback. Make sure you send me a feedback. Bye-bye. See you soon. Yeah. <laughs>